I'm Paul Donovan. This is the world headquarters of Salter Street Films. That's the production company of Lex. I'm the kind of writer, producer, director, and this is Lex. Lex Jigaroff, Jeff Hirschfeld, they are also writers on the show. And uh, I'm standing out here because we agreed to uh, make the shows 120 minutes long or something like that for UK video, but they're actually only 93, so we're adding additional material on the end. That's what you're watching right now. But it's raining outside, so we're going inside. See you. Okay, we're indoors, it's dry. Backstory on this whole project. About 10 years ago, around 1985, I directed a film called uh, DEFCON 4. DEFCON 4 was not the greatest film ever made. It was... Um, the seeds it, of greatness, though. It was, the pretty, seeds, it was seeds, pretty seeds great. Of greatness. It was pretty great. Yeah. Okay, don't, I'll, I'll don't beat yourself up. No, no. <laughs> it, it may have had the tiny little kernel of the seeds, seeds, the seeds, seeds but not very big ones. But anyway, DEFCON 4 made a lot of money. It sold 60,000 video units in the US. That was huge at that time. And uh, the distributors made a lot of money. We didn't make any money, but we realized that uh, maybe there's something to this genre. And in, in the uh, show itself, there were some good scenes. Most of it wasn't that great, but there were a few scenes that I personally still like to this day. So it kind of stuck with me that we might, I, might, I, we, our company, might want to make something in science fiction. So and then I did a lot of other stuff, some movies and TV movies and that sort of thing. And um, about three years ago, I wanted to make a World, a World War I film that cost about $35 million. Now, I didn't have the $35 million, so I investigated a way of trying to do it cheaper using computer animation. Now, this is Canada, and in Canada, many of the computer animation programs that are normally used in films come from. Soft Image, uh, Prisms, Discrete Logic, these are companies who make uh, the, the things that make the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park or bumpers change on cars or whatever. We took some some propeller heads who make CD, and we put them together and shook them up with our idea for a science fiction show, and we made a promo. And then the idea was to bring this promo around to various buyers of television programming or, or specialty broadcasters throughout the world and see if we could get the money. So this promo, it's not perfect because it's actually cruder CG because this is three years ago, and we didn't have the money to set up a real infrastructure. But you can see this promo right now, and this is what I went around in my briefcase and raised the money for the show on. I worship the shadow. I worship the shadow. Prisoner of transport KLR 600 entering Frontier. Requesting docking to Punishment Gate 2. Authority code? Code? Nobody asks for the code anymore? Mm. Wrong code. I can't. Remember the code? Yeah. You were expecting a prisoner transport of 1400, right? 1405. And how often do they come? Two, three a month. Right. So let's forget about the code. I can't do that. What rank are you? Security guard, class four. Security guard for class, sir. I'm a lying major in the Holy Protectors of the Divine Shadow, Flight Cavalry Division, number 216. No. No, sir. And I'm ordering you to turn on your docking beam, understand? I can't do that. Why not? You've got the wrong code. 
I'm getting you up to I can't help you. <laughs> I worship his shadow. I worship his shadow. Hacking beam engaged now, sir. At security guard class four, Stanley Tweedle is presently being entered for correction punishment himself. I request that he be demoted. Class four is already the lowest. Well, I trust his punishment will be severe. I will request that, sir. Thank you, Sergeant. May his shadow fall upon you. May his shadow fall upon you. Once the prisoners have received their fair trial and severe punishment, you must turn yourself in to Correction Center Number 5 for severe punishment yourself, Stanley. Stanley Tweedle. And may his merciful shadow fall upon you. May his merciful shadow fall upon me. Are you? <laughs> okay, there's the promo. And there's Stanley Tweedle, he's wearing a different costume. People liked it. Now the CG is a little bit primitive about the computer graphics compared to what we have now. But, you know, it's not bad. And so we needed some people to write the show, so I looked around and in Canada, all the good writers have gone to Hollywood, let's just face it. <laughs> so I had to, like, look around, <clears throat> see what was left. And uh, there are some people, and they might have had the potential to be good writers, but at least I could get them cheap. And that's Lex and Jeff. They, you know, like, let's call them <coughs> gems in the rough. We are cheap and easy too. What I'd also like to talk about is I would like Jeff and Lex yes. to tell them about themselves, where they came from, and what they did before they started working on this picture. <coughs> well, uh, uh, I came up as a as an actor, and I did some theater, and I did. I did uh, Canada's version of Stratford, Stratford on the Avon, and uh, then I went to Toronto and, and struggled to get a day on a, on a Jamie Farr movie of the week, and I didn't get that, so I, uh, I slung fish burgers at uh, some Toronto scuzzhole restaurant, and uh, just before I was about to go out and start hooking, uh, Paul uh, came by and gave me a career, so uh, I'm forever in his debt. And, uh, and the world never knows what they really missed. Yeah, that's the thing, because I would have made next step, you know? a terrific hooker, that, I think. You know, uh, and I still might, but now I can do it just for fun, you know, instead <laughs> exactly. of trying to pay the rent. Uh, and, um, well, I was, uh, you know, sort of um, uh, doing whatever I had to do to survive. <laughs> You know, there's no whore like an old whore. Uh, you know, for me, I, you know, literally, I would do things like murder mysteries, pirate tours. We're in Halifax, so we get a lot of tourists who want to know about the sea. So you take like rich Americans out and go, "Arr, everybody on the bus at like in an hour, ho!" Oh. Then we'll cruise down to the waterfront, her. And you know, uh, little fringe plays, and I worked in radio and did a little sort of bit of acting here and there, here and there, but. Um, the hooking option wasn't an option for me because look at me, quite frankly. And then we started writing. So we would go to the beach and, uh, you know, hang around bars and around very bars. Or whatever. Yeah. And we started working up a, a, an overall idea for this entire series. What you've seen in show number one or picture number one is all set up. You know, it's introduction of the characters. Hi, I'm Ziff. I will love you forever. I'm security guard, fourth class Stanley Tweedle. I am Kai. We have plans where it goes through the four pictures, which are kind of a cycle, and also beyond. But I can say what we really wanted to do was to make something that had, uh, you know, a little bit of Dirty Dozen meat alien or Beavis and Butthead meat alien, you, you know. Like, I don't watch that much TV. I mean, some people do. Meets but I, High School Hard Bellies, yeah. which is one of my favorite shows. Sorority Suck. You ever yeah. seen that? That's it's a... terrific and uh, fine acting. And then we kind of like science fiction in a certain way. Certain types of science fiction, like... Uh, Skimpy costume. 
games and costumes, science fiction. I like Alien, you know, and uh, and Stargate. And I liked uh, Dark Star. Dark Star. I mean, it, it was kind of a bit cheap looking, but it was yeah. fun. Now, most science fiction that I see on TV isn't that much fun these days. So we wanted to make something that had fun and sort of had some production value and was a little bit subversive and had some black humor. <laughs> most shows come from Los Angeles. Okay, now in Los Angeles, people aren't that funny. I mean, there are a lot of smart people down there, but they're kind of serious. And polite. And, well, sometimes polite, Occasionally. not always. So this is a very weird thing because it is a um, show that comes from Canada and we're on the east coast of Canada and here people are, you know, they don't take themselves too seriously because frankly they don't have a good reason to. Well, you know, I mean, how seriously can, can we really be, you know, when we have to get up every morning and club harp seals for our <laughs> breakfast? You know, through the ice, we've got to dig a hole in the ice and, you know, I know all you British people are very upset about you know, the fur and stuff, but it's food for us. That's how we, yeah, exactly. you know, and when you have to deal with that brutal kind winter. of level of brutal violence on a daily basis, then yeah. our humor kind of comes out organically. One thing you may notice in this show is that there's a lot of bug stuff. Stingers. Like we want things to be fairly insectoid or at least certainly very organic. And uh, part of it is I've always wondered why is the future modern, like, you know, modern as in modernism with all these hard angles and flat, smooth surfaces. And, you know, okay, it was the style that was in fashion as the style of the future in the 1920s, but why, you know, everybody's got the octagonal door thing. I mean, are they going to have octagonal doors 2,000 years from now? I just, I don't know. So we figured, mm, maybe they won't. So we, uh, in our particular world, because of this backstory of the insect wars, we have brought in this insect technology and it should affect the design. And also, instead of having one designer, as in a normal show, we have uh, about eight production designers who worked fairly independently. We want to avoid the concept of a town all designed by one architect to have a variety of look. One thing I should mention is we have an email address called, if you notice at the end of the show, called www.lex.com. And there's a section in there called Naked Money Grab. We want to sell you things and you to give us your money. But we, you don't actually have to have, have to um, sell you anything. You can just give us the money. Yeah, yeah. you can just anything grab. really we'd really... And not, not for, to get future episodes made, just for us personally. You know, if you've got anything, uh, cash, preferably... Uh, preferably shellacked Yorkshire puddings. Is there or? anything we've left out? Um, well, we've got the four movies. Four movies. Coming up, the Lex, which is, well, they know, they've just seen the movie, so it's... Okay, the four movies. Out. What's the next picture about? The next one is called Supernova, and there's a lot more sex in it. Stoked. Pleasured. Yeah, 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 baby, you gonna get it, basically. Do we Never learn? enough. We're there's gonna work on that in a series. Yeah. Sex in it. Never there's enough. There's a lot of Never. sex. Yeah. A lot of sex. Yeah. There's, like... We want to get Fergie and Zev together in a mud wrestling pit. Exactly. No. Spandex and a little jump. Yeah. Do we learn anything new about Zev, for instance? Well... Actually, that was a setup question. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Do we learn anything new about Zev? Yeah. What? Well, see, th during her love slave transformation, her, her hair color changed. And there is a, there's a big mystery surrounding that. It's like, you know, was it just the hair on her head? Or where else? Where do people have hair? Where, you know, what... Is it uh, blue everywhere? Is it blue everywhere? This is the... Uh, you know, inquiring minds want to know. And all will be revealed in good time. So that's, that's really pretty well the highlight of number two. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, what else should we talk about? Well, yeah. uh, what have I missed? How about the title? Oh, the title. Do you want to know how the, the show got the title of, of Lex? It's getting worse. Lex it's getting track. Worse. Lex okay. The Lex Files. The Lex Files is oh good. Oh, my God. What about that Let's see that. Let's hold that card up. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Joyride. All right. Let's have a look Fuck. at that. Right there. Yeah, let's see it perfect. How about, Space Orifice. How about, how about Lexolicious? Uh, it's not getting any better. Lex, Lex, Lex Lexolicious. Lex Lexolicious. Lex Lex you're, you're just Lex about to Cuban. witness a disaster of... Lexual harassment. A useless attempt to find a name. Lexual healing. Lexual Penal harassment. extension. Uh. <laughs>